All right, yo. Who can remember the last time I messed with one of these guys? Yeah, me neither. So on this episode of Puglisi Speed Shop, that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, guys, like I said, we're working on a bike this week, right? Got to be done. Been a hot minute since we did it. So if you guys like bikes, this is your episode. Um, if you don't, just relax. Stay tuned, you know, because uh, we got a little work to do over there. And uh, we'll come back to this guy. That I promise. All right. But in the meantime, we got some things to get done. So which one do you think it is? We got the 74 shovel. It's... Uh, it's been sitting up for about four or five years now, to the point where I lost track. So that's not good. Clearly, it needs work done on it, but not yet. All right. Uh, then we got the uh, 91 FXR here. She uh, she suffered a little bit of uh, a little bit of trauma, right? So, and then she's been sitting for not nearly as long, just for a little bit. But uh, yeah, and then we got the. Uh, the 19 Road Glide, right? So that's obviously like my daily ride, but um, she's a couple things done to her too, because we got, yo, you're gonna wanna stick around. We ain't working on that one this week, but next week we are, and we're getting ready for what's arguably one of the biggest deals in like the entire motorcycle community. So write that down, you know, come back and, and subscribe. You'll, so you'll know, you know, ring the bell, the whole shooting match. Best way for that. But on this episode, it's the FXR. For you guys that don't know, um, that's my 91 FXR. Um, started life as a convertible model, so it had a lace wheel up front. We changed that. It's got you know some bars on it. It's got, uh, what do you call it there? The uh, Thunder Max header. It's got an s, &S carb. A couple of little, little, you know, little, little, Things to push it over the edge there. And uh, I absolutely love the bike. If you've been watching it for a while, you know, we took it to Trog last year. And uh, she didn't fare so well on the ride home. Well, kid can put a little picture up here. It wasn't. <sighs> yeah. These things happen, guys. But still runs and rides great. And, uh, does spectacular burnouts, right? I mean, we got uh, we got video footage of that. So that's what we're gonna do. Last year when it was sitting, it sat for a little bit and I got ready to go to Trog. The front wheel was not holding air. You know, the bead was, was broke. No, I don't know how it happened, it just happened, all right? And um, then the whole Trog trailer incident happened and uh, and I got, I got, I got, uh, you know, disappointed with it, you know, and it just sat. And now the battery's dead. I was started, well, you know, whatever. I kind of neglected it because eh, my feelings got a little hurt about it. You know, I kind of, you know, similar to what happened to this guy. It got damaged. That's beyond the repair for what I have really available to me, so... She's still over there. This one's not as bad, and we're going to get back into that, and I'll tell you exactly what's going on. But first, we're going to move it over by the toolbox, get it up on the jack.
All right, so got it up in the air. I feel I'll give you guys a walk around for you guys that are new to the channel or if you just want a refresher. So 91 Harley Davidson FXR, um, prequel to the Dyna, also like a kind of a bastardized bike, but Harley guys hated them when they first come out because this little triangle right here. They all look like a Honda, didn't like it, wasn't really accepted, not as a big cult following, and I love it. Um, to date, it's still credited as being the best handling Harley Davidson out there. Um, now, granted, that's, you know, not that tough to do. That's some of the newer bikes, right? But and it's all because of that triangle. Stiffens the frame up. Uh, and I tell you guys, it's, it's like riding a BMX. I swear to God, it's, it's crazy. But so, little thing, I'll start at the back. Why not? Right, I'm here. So I put, uh, it's got the moon's light on there. It's like the three and one. Uh, well, more than that. So it's brake light, tail light, turn signals, and then license plate light. And it's, you know, abbreviated and tinted because I figured with all the black on it, it was needed. This uh, license plate bracket was already on it when I got it, but I had to put it on there anyways. Um, I like the little curve. I got the same one on my road glide. One of the road glides black, but these are not actually stock. Those were like an Arlen Nest thing, I think, because it was like a little... This little piece of metal there, it's an FXR and it's not. Uh, it's got the Thunder Max header. I need to change this out pretty soon too. She's kind of pitted. I have a stock one that's like aluminum or whatever, so we'll probably just brush that up and put it on eventually. This might be my favorite part. Okay, I'm a little biased. SNS carb, Kevin rebuilt that. I tuned it in and this thing is just you know so obviously we got some giant bars on it here it's all big owl set up uh i think they're 14 inch risers and then i think this is like another two and a half inches here and i got go go gadget arms so they're rolled forward a little bit and i do need to clock the gauges but we'll get to that the bars were on the bike when i got it however not a single thing was tightened down and uh from like here forward Found that when I was riding home, so that was fun. Uh, the LED light up front, John absolutely hates it because it's super bright. Turn signal right there, she's kind of hidden. Um, we swapped this front wheel out for nine spoke to match the back, and the back is actually powder coated when I got it already. We powder coated this one to match and uh, put that on. This is the problem right now, it's got to come off because. Uh, it's not holding there. So I just pumped a little bit in to get it over here. Clearly, pretty new tire, so this shouldn't be an issue. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, the flush mount front end, guys. Look at that. Look how clean that is. I love this thing, and uh, yeah, glad I, glad I found it, put it on, because I absolutely love it. Here's where things get a little sideways, guys. This kind of sucks. This is where it fell over. Got this here, this scuffed here, the eyebrow a little bit, and um, right here. You guys saw how it was in the trailer? That's not that bad. Here's the downside, other than what you're looking at. Because this thing was, it's 31 year old original paint and it was just beautiful. I think we can fix this, Mel somebody more skilled than me. And I got a guy, paint guy, all that. The issue is this guy. This is why it's been sitting up. This is one year only, only on this model, only in this color do they use this, this decal. And Kevin, who's an FXR guru, um, built that one he has from scratch, knows every single guy like on the internet and all that to mess with FXRs, he actually got laughed at looking for that when he asked about it. So we, uh, that's what's been holding us up. That's why I still like this. This is why I kind of lost motivation because it was just so perfect and now I got this. But I need to realize that, look at the rest of the bike. It's awesome, right? So uh, then, you know, kind of finish it off here. What we got is this. Was Mustang? Yeah, Mustang seat. Love it, super comfortable, and uh, 
a little back support, you know, because uh, some of us are, uh, we might be in our 40s. So that's it, guys. That's the, uh, my 91 FXR. And, you know, what uh, went wrong there? So we're going to uh, take this front wheel off, yank the battery out, and uh, get some things fixed. So in case any of you guys are wondering how not to remove a front wheel off a 91 FXR, you can refer to this video. I don't know what I was thinking. Obviously, I haven't messed with this thing in a long time. Should not have pulled the axle off first. I seriously thought it was going to fall right out. My bad. Should have taken a better look. Like in the future, if you guys do this, take the fender off. Don't drop it on the ground like I did. Luckily, I didn't scratch it. Um, then... Pull the brakes off, then pull the axle off. Way better way of going about it. All right, so we got that taken care of in the worst way possible. But uh, now we got to swap the battery because um, John doesn't like how bright that is. But uh, that's what we're working with. No matter how much I charge it, whatever. But uh, here's that LED thing I was telling you about there. And, uh, yeah, yeah, all right, all right. And uh, you got that little guy right there. I absolutely love this because, like, yeah, when it's on, bright, off, don't even know it's there. And that guy's a little, little bright, too, but uh, we like it. So here's one of the really cool things about the FXR. 
And Kevin's a little jealous because he couldn't find one for his. Look at that, huh? I'm telling you, this bike, that mileage is not far off from original. Uh, I think it's got about a thousand more than that, give or take. When I got it, the guy said, yeah, he had this was the original one. And then they put like a little tiny guy. It was disgusting. It's, it's over there somewhere. And uh, that had like 913 on it. So that's to believe to be the original mileage, except for the little bit of mileage I put on it. As you see, there's, it's a little tall. So, and uh, like, you know, judging by this tire, that wasn't a whole lot. So, pretty sweet little setup. I dig it. I'm gonna rip this guy out. All right, guys, so that's it for tonight. We got the tire off of the bike, got the battery out the bike, and uh, that's the tire, battery there. All set, and uh, make sure the jack is you know in a locked position. Put the seat back so we don't wear out that super rare hinge. And uh, the kid's about to cruise Megan's car down here, so uh, we can throw this stuff in the trunk. Because she's going to hook me up while I'm at work. She's going to go get this tire fixed and uh, scoop up another battery. Found a guy in town. I know I was kind of bitching about the last uh, Tuesday morning tech tip. Found a guy in town. See, you know, give him a shot, right? See you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, so uh, not the next day. Who's surprised, right? So here, uh, here's what happened. Everything's okay back here. Don't worry about that. Tried the guy in town. After much miscommunication and uh, just uh, all-around aggravation. And not on his part, just a little on his part, but whatever. So um, it didn't. Wasn't no good. He, um, good guy, little uh, little thing out of his garage he was trying to get going, uh, got a tire machine, a little bit of knowledge, but wasn't able to fix my problem. So, what's going on now, we, uh, well, we gotta go down to Harley. But uh, like I said, they're backed up, so I don't have the tire back yet. Um, and uh, the battery might still be in the trunk of Megan's car. Another little, uh, guys, it was one of those, you know, one of those weeks you start off like, wow, everything's perfect, and then uh, you don't get a whole lot accomplished. But, um, so that's what happened, all right? Um, we were hoping to get it done. We were hoping to get, like, all right, this is what, we tried to take a shortcut, right? That's kind of what happened. We, um, we we're going to try and just, not a shortcut, but we knew Harley could do it, and uh, I said, I'll get it done faster if I go over here, or maybe I'll try over here. Well, how about there? Yeah. And the end result is, because of the area we live in, I was the only one that could take care of it, so they're going to do it. Maybe if I brought it to them on Monday, I'd have it back by now. But it's Friday morning, and uh, I ain't got it back. So, and it's, but I, but I didn't bring it to them until, like, you know, Friday morning, so I can't be mad at them. So that's what we're waiting on that. Batteries, whatever, I just got to go scoop that thing up. And, um... This is, this is the perfect example of, I had the best of intentions. This is going to take me five minutes, right? Okay, obviously not five minutes, but you get it. I screwed up taking the, taking the wheel off. I screwed up not going right to the place I needed to take care of the tire. And uh, I, well, I bullshit around, honestly, trying to find the best deal on a battery when I should have just grabbed one. So if you take anything from this video, don't do things the way I do it, I guess is probably it. Just take care of things the way you know they'll get taken care of. Maybe you pay a couple dollars more. Maybe you'll wait a, little, a couple days, whatever. You'll have it done. You'll have it done right. Maybe riding your motorcycle like I am not. So hopefully you guys learned something. And uh, hopefully next time you see this bike, we're putting our wheel back on, putting a battery in it, and going for a little ride. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'm even gonna ride home while you're driving.
Yeah. Well, I guess it's the only thing, at least I could do since you guys did all the work putting the bikes away. I'll drive. Once again, you figure out how to do your video and not do any work. How do you do that? That's a good trick.